Good day. Today we are going to tackle all about arithmetic means. But before we're going to discuss that one, please click the like buttons and subscribe. In today's discussion, we are going to answer or show you the ways or the ways of answering activity one of module two so how to find arithmetic means in a given sequence so i have here an example three blank 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 39 so first is we're going to identify the parts of the given sequence the three there is our first term while 39 is our last term if we are going to count how many terms are there there are five so thus our n is equals to five so for us to find the arithmetic means of this given we are going to solve for d so we can solve for d using the arithmetic formula the a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the product of n minus 1 and d so first is to substitute all the values so we do have there the a sub n which is 39 while a sub 1 is equals to 3 then substitute the value of n which is equals to 5 so what is 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is equals to 4 so this will become 4d and then using the additive inverse so we are going to subtract both sides by 3 so on the left side this will become 39 minus 3 while on the other side the 3 is cancelled because 3 minus 3 is equals to 0 so next is 39 minus 3 39 minus 3 is 36 so dividing both sides by 4 to solve for d so our d there is actually 9 so here we are going to add 9 after the 3 so 3 plus 9 is 12 and 12 plus 9 is 21 21 plus 9 is 30 so the arithmetic means in the sequence is 12 21 and 30 okay another example i have 2 5 blank blank and 19 over 10 so our first term is 2 5 while the last term is 19 over 10 so if we are going to count how many terms are there there are four so our n is equal to four so same process we are going to solve for the d so using the arithmetic sequence formula, the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the n minus 1 times d, where a sub n is equal to 19 over 10, the first term which is 2 5 plus the n which is 4 minus 1. So what is 4 minus 1? That is 3. So next process is we are going to subtract, okay, subtract 2 5 2 5 on both sides so this will become 19 over 10 minus 2 5 and if we subtract minus 2 5 on the right side this will be cancelled so what remains there is our 3d so 19 19 over 10 minus 2 5 is 3 halves so equals to the 3d so dividing both sides by three or we can also multiply both sides by one third so in this case i only divide both sides by three so dividing by three cancel three here for the d so this will become d and d is actually equals to one half so adding one half to two fifth the result is nine over ten and adding one half so 9 over 10 is equals to 7 fifth. Adding 7 fifth to 1 half, that is 19 over 10. So thus, 
the two arithmetic means between 2 fifth and 19 over 10 is 19, 19 and 7 fifth. Another example. If a sub 1 is equal to negative 3 and a sub 5 is equal to 13, what are the arithmetic means between negative 3 and 13? So first, express this one in terms of sequence. So that is negative 3, 13. Since there are 5 terms, there are 3 blanks. So we need to find 3 arithmetic means between negative 3 and 13. So first is identify the parts. We have negative 3, that is our first term. 13th as our last term and there are five terms so to solve using arithmetic formula the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the n minus 1 times d so substituting all the information here given that our a sub n is equals to 13 the a sub 1 is negative 3 and the n is equals to 5 so next is to solve what is 5 minus 1, 4. So this will become 4D. So 13 is equal to negative 3 plus 4D. Adding both sides by 3 to cancel out negative 3. So if we add 3 on the left side, this will become 13 plus 3. Adding 3 on the right side, so negative 3 plus 3 is just 0. So what remains is 4D. And 13 plus 3 is equals to 16. To solve for D, we divide both sides by 4. So divide both sides by 4. Our D is equals to 4. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And 1 plus 4 is 5. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So thus... The arithmetic means between negative 3 and 13 is 1, 5, and 9. Okay, now let's proceed to another example. This is quite complicated, but actually very easy to solve. So you are to find the value of x when the arithmetic mean of 3x plus 1 and x minus 7 is equal to 5x minus 9. So first, we are going to arrange this one into sequence. So start with the 3x plus 1, followed by the 5x minus 9, which is our mean, and the x minus 7. So first, in this case, we are going to solve for the difference. So taking the difference of 5x minus 9 and 3x plus 1. So 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x and negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10. So therefore, our answer will be 2x minus 10. And get the difference also between the x minus 7 and the 5x minus 9. So, getting the difference of the two binomial, so x minus 5x is negative 4x, while negative 7 minus negative 9 is positive 2. So, negative, negative becomes positive. So, that becomes negative 7 plus 9, which is equal to 2. So thus, the difference between the two binomial is negative 4x plus 2. So next here, we are going to equate the two binomial for us to solve for the value of x. So 2x minus 10 is equal to negative 4x plus 2. So we are going to add both sides by positive 4x and adding both sides by positive 10. So on the left side, the negative 10 will be cancelled out. And on the right side, the negative 4x will be cancelled out. So this will become 2x plus 4x is equals to 2 
plus 10. So 2x plus 4x is equals to 6x, while 2 plus 10 is equals to 12. Dividing both sides by 6, so the value for x is equals to 2. So very easy. So thank you for listening and have a good day.